What's going on today, guys? We're gonna go over crusty geckos today. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do kind of a care and look at that. I put that there like three hours ago. And they already ticked it over. Whatever. Um, so we're gonna do a care and setup video um, for your crusty geckos. Hi, buddy. I know you want to come out. You ain't coming out. Um, so first thing we're going to go over is their, their setup, their tank setup. As you can see the babies, I use paper towel in. Uh, it's a lot easier to clean. I clean them once a week at least, you know. Like they're a mess, like he just dumped his shit out this morning. And uh, that one's going to be clean. But those guys get cleaned once a week. The big tanks, I just mix in, it's usually dirt and bark mix uh, or cocoa fiber. And as you can see, it's a disaster. That usually sits for weeks, probably a month and a half. Um, and then I clean it out, throw it away. Well, I throw it out over the friggin' banking behind my house. Um, and then I fill it up with cocoa fiber. And usually, like I said, bark or whatever you want to throw in there. If you don't have anything else to throw in there, don't throw anything else in. Just use the regular cocoa fiber, it'll be perfectly fine. Um, you also, when you have crusty geckos, you want to have a lot of places to hide. Like you can see, you can't because the lights are. Um, let's take a look at pumpkins. This is great at it. So you kind of can't see in there. Um, but there's a lot of places to hide. You need vines to climb on. It's a good idea to have like a cork round. You see all the babies have a cork round. Because if they hide in there, it really makes them feel safe. You know, you want your animal to feel really safe. You don't ever want them to feel... I don't know, attacked, I guess. Or they'll lose their tail, like I had two of them. See, I keep them together. I keep clutch mates together. Um, these guys need to be split. They need to be split quick. But uh, place I was buying tanks from is all out of tanks right now, so I'm waiting for a reptile show here in a couple of weeks. Pick up some more tanks. Split those guys up. And he's alone, I split him. And I got to split these guys up. The other ones are small enough. But beside the point. You gotta have a lot of places to hide for these geckos. You are also gonna need some sort of sprayer. Where's my sprayer? Right there. Right there. That's my sprayer. So, you're gonna have to spray these guys. I spray them morning and night. Um, I check my animals every morning and every night, and usually I spend some of the day in here too. But that's just for fun. Um, but every morning and every night, you need to spray your crusty geckos because they won't drink out of a water bowl. I know I have a water bowl in that one and the other two on the bottom, but um, I don't fill them. Very rarely do I fill them at least. Um, they're just there for, for a look, something to climb on. The, you need to spray these guys to drink. They won't just drink out of standing water. You have to spray them, keep that in mind. And they need to drink every day, obviously. Um, for their food, you can feed them insects like crickets and whatnot, but you really wanna feed them this. Some people use Pangea, some people use Rapashi. I seem to use Rapashi. Um, just their you know, replacement diet. It's pretty easy, but that kind of gets onto food. Um, can you see him? Way down in there. Kind of really not right. Alright, so they also need to be about 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I know we're focusing on all these for me here, too. Actually, open some up and get rid right of there. They need to be 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. They they love humidity, but you don't want 100% humidity, you know? Um, spraying, like I said, morning and nights, good enough, definitely. Um, this baby back here. Let's see if we can get a look at this guy. I don't know if you can tell on that thing, on that camera, the colors of this little one. But, it's got a lot of Dalmatian. There's a lot of red spots in there. I just want to show them off. Can okay, anybody? Don't be freaking out now. Check that out. Oh, hold on. Come here. You're alright. Check. Come here, bud. What are you doing? You see, you're going to get all stuck up in the carpet. See? Alright, you don't want to show off today? Really? Just had you out like two hours ago, you were perfectly fine. Go 
wish you guys probably can't see the colors, but at least you get the idea. At least I tried to show you what a baby looks like. Baby Dalmatian looks like. Alright, so I just want to tell you guys that crested geckos do live about 15 to 20 years approximately. Um, you can house your females together as long as they get along. You know, you need to pay attention to them. Don't neglect your animals, obviously. But you need to pay attention to them, make sure they get along, and then they should be fine. Um, males, on the other hand, you need to have separated. You cannot have males together. They will rip each other apart. It's not good. But just keep that in mind. <laughs> Um, and they are pretty calm animals. I mean, they're not going like, to latch on you like a tokay gecko or something. But um, they can be jumpy, you know, around people, anything, really. They just, boink, take off, as you just saw a second ago. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend them for kids because they just jump right out and land on the floor, and it's really not good for the animal. But um, they are pretty good animals to have, to keep, and to look at. There's a bunch of morphs, a bunch of different cool variations. Um... Dalmatian too. These are all babies that I bred out. I wish I could. I wish some of the girls are out, but of course it's daytime. They don't want to come out. But um, I mean, other than you have to have a heating pad, as you can see down there, you have to have a heating pad. You don't have to have a light on these guys. They don't need light. Um, obviously, don't put them in a basement for their whole life. Turn the light on every once in a while, but uh, they do need a heating pad. Because, like I said, you got to get that 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if you can get that without a heating pad, I would imagine you'd be perfectly fine and wouldn't need a heating pad. But um, I recommend, uh, recommend, I recommend using a heating pad because I use one on all of mine. I think that's about all I got to tell you guys. So I hope I got everything. Uh, if not, feel free to yell at me down in the comments. I love reading comments. I got emails, uh, or not emails, notifications all over my phone all the time about comments. Makes me happy. I hear the blip from my phone and I'm like, ooh, someone loves me. <laughs> so drop me a comment down below. Give me a like if you can. Throw me a subscribe if you really like it because that helps. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, hope this helps you. And I hope you go get a crusty gecko and I hope you love it. We'll see you on the next one, though.